Man, that's longer than I thought it would be. Oh man, I can't believe we're all talking together again. Yeah, it's weird to hear each other's voices in live conversation. I'm 17 and still playing with plush toys. <laughs> yeah. I'm about to be 15 and I'm still playing with plush toys. Oh, that's gonna be interesting. And I'm just happy that we're all together again. Yeah. Man, I think I think I think you were still chaotic Mario Bros. when we first met. Yeah. Or... Yeah. Yeah. I was chaotic Mario Bros. Like the the last episode we did, I was still chaotic yeah, Mario Bros. Man. So, so what, what are we gonna talk about? I guess. I don't know, the, the plush community in general has been kind of, I don't know, it's just been kind of silent. There hasn't really been much going on. Yeah. Yeah, we, I mean, like, we have, we have been on, like, the least toxic plush server ever, and, <laughs> like, yeah. So, like, there, there really isn't much to talk about other than, uh, other than, like, SML is gonna be, like, gone. Or at least the main channel will finally, unfortunately, die out, I guess. Yeah, I don't know when that's happening. Everyone thought it was going to happen on the 31st of May. But as you can see, it's still up. Yeah. So I don't know what that's all about. Honestly, like, I think we should talk about, like, just each other in general, because I feel like all of us have kind of grown ever since we made the last episode. Man, I had a- man, I remember- I remember, like, I was still in, like, quarantine and my school didn't have, like, live meetings, as we were just expected to do homework, so, yeah, but, like, that's changed, I'm in high school now, it's- a lot has changed, so, yeah. yeah. Really gotta get that Donkey Kong video out. Donkey Kong video? Yeah, yeah, hi. Donkey Kong video? Yeah, basically, yeah, obviously Donkey Kong breaks his spine or something else, they meet Doug Bowser to fix it, I don't know. <laughs> I have to get the, I have to, I have to yeah, I, I do have to at least write the synopsis. So. Yeah, if you have, like, amazing. all those ideas, like, write them out. Yeah. I've been trying to write the script for... The first episode of Tiny Life, but I'm just, I'm like two lines in and I'm already getting writer's block. I mean, we could talk about Geek Film's rise, but like, eh, even then, his li his rise is still fairly slow. It isn't yeah. nothing, but... Yeah, I feel like, like a lot of plush channels have started to get like a lot more cinematic ever since Geek yeah. Films yeah. has started to rise in popularity. But I feel like... Which is for, for the better. Yeah. I feel like one of the main problems, though, is that people kind of take that cinema cinematic style at face value and just, like, put black bars on their videos without actually taking into exactly. account, like, camera exactly. angles and stuff. Yeah, really, the only person who actually cares about the black bars and takes them seriously is Geek Films, so... Yeah. And maybe a few others. Like Wait, wait, what is it? Like, people just take, like, a PNG of, like, black bars, and they slap it over the, like, over the video. Like, that's not how you're supposed to do black bars. You're supposed you, to you think, change the rate of aspect ratio. You think people in Hollywood just download and, a black bars PNG off the internet and then just paste it onto the movie? I mean, it could have to do with editing software. Wait, I thought so. they did that. Yeah. It could have to do with editing software. Well, there's there's free editing software that can like change aspect ratios. I know I've done that on the on the first episode of the crunch yeah on the crunch odyssey. I got the eighteen by nine aspect ratio, and all I need to do is go into my editor and change the aspect ratio. So it's actually pretty easy. Yeah. 
I'm not sure if that option is available in my movie. I mean, I have been making much videos, so I haven't really thought of switching, but like, my brother switched to like Premiere Pro for his videos. Just for his own personal stuff, not plush games. Hell, out. you could like, go download Shotcut? That, that has the aspect ratio option. Yeah. Yeah. It's... Yeah. yeah. Um, Shotcut is one of the best editing, editing softwares. Yeah. At least like one of the, um, the best free. Like, for a free software, it can do so much. Like, I've gone really far with that. I guess the reason why I haven't made so many videos this year is because, like, a lot's been changing in my life. Political, social, you know, a lot of stuff. So, yeah. yeah. I but, like, I kind of want to, I kind of want to go back to it. I kind of want to see what I missed out on and what I can be a part of again. So. Alright. I have a question for both of you guys. And I'll let you guys answer the thing first before I kind of give my two cents. So, if you guys could give one piece of advice to just the plush community in general, what would it be? I just try not to make plush videos. Like, don't make plush videos, but, um, like, make, make videos with plushes in them. Don't make plush videos. If that makes sense. Or, yeah, that makes uh, sense. Well, I guess for me, um, I guess treat it as an art form, as uh, because there are many forms of art, and um, this is one of them. Uh, hmm. What else? Uh, hmm. Want to say something else? I mean, yeah. So I like, just treat it as an art form because, well, it kind of is. Um. Yeah. Make them their own. Make it unique because YouTube's always been about making it unique. So, yeah, be sure to do that. For me, if I could give one piece of advice, just the plush community in general, plush community as a whole, if everyone was sitting in front of me in a big room and I had like a megaphone that could say one thing, I tell them to just get inspired. Inspired than more like by more than just plush videos, like other media, um, games, Please. and actually like have a critical eye and be critical of the media you're consuming. Yeah, one of what, yeah, when I was talking with Geek Films, I almost he was always a big Guardians of the Galaxy fan, and like that's probably why he has so much of guard, uh, so much, so much music from that movie in his videos, like, um. Like, like, hooked on the feeling, just, just and also yeah. cutting the chance of meatballs, yeah. Well, and like, I don't want to, like, anywhere. yeah. I don't want to sound like I'm kissing my own ass here, but I, like, take inspiration from, like, Shonen Jump anime, like, One Piece. Um, especially JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, I freaking love that series. Just all of this I stuff. I see the influence stories. on oh, was that chaotic? I can really see the, um, Shonen Jump influence on your videos. Yeah. yeah, Shonen Jump anime is awesome, and I'd recommend everyone to watch it. I know, I know lots of people don't think that they would like anime, but once they watch it, it's, it's good. Um, I've been getting into, um, some of Edgar Wright's movies recently. Cool. You know who Ed Edgar Wright is, right? Edgar Wright. I'm Googling him right now. Yeah, Edgar Wright. Oh, he makes Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Oh, yeah, right. Well, he made Shot yeah. of the Den and Baby Driver. That's pretty cool. Baby Driver. Yeah, I heard that has some amazing directing. Baby, That's Baby good Driver. Action. Oh, how do you know? Up. He directed Ant Man. Wait, what? I mean, like... I didn't know he directed Ant-Man. I mean, like, but he did direct Shaun of the Dead, right? Yeah. Hmm, that's on. And Hot Fuzz. Apparently he also directed Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, um... So, uh... Saying even... I didn't mean to see that. Isn't that interesting? Um, back on, like, the advice for plush tubers. Um, I was talking to Geek Films once, and uh, I asked him for advice, and he said, just, just make what you want to see. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 
that's what I do with that's what I try to do with my series. Like I want to make stories that I myself would enjoy. Yeah, I really want to tell stories before I get completely bored and just decide to give up. I was like, ultimately, it's been a part of my life since exactly. I was like five years old, and like even though I stopped watching for like four years, I came back and I learned to love it again. So, I mean, I want to go out out to say to the world that you know, I I liked it and I liked to do it myself for a long time, and I made friends and. And that it was it meant a lot. And even though I can't maybe I can't really be a part of my future, I want to remember it as a part of my past. So yeah, I'll make sure that the older you looks back on your old videos and loves them better than the the old you did. So yeah. I fucking hate my old videos. <laughs> you know, I know we've all changed in a year, but I just I kinda wanna check in and just get your opinion on this. Just what are your guys' thoughts on big plush tubers? Just in general. Well, I mean, I feel like Goomzilla is rightfully justified because he's been doing this a long time and he has a unique style, oh. but like, as you all know, I really don't like crazy, and you know that as well, Quincy, so... Yeah. Honestly, I've like, I've actually like, talked to crazy and a few servers, and he's honestly a nice guy. Not a fan of the content, though. Yeah, I can do I, just, I kind of that. accepted that it's really... I'm not the target audience. The target audience is kind of... I mean, I know it in the About section it says, Infant. like, teens and mature audiences, but it seems more geared towards kids. Yeah. And I've kind of yeah. accepted that I'm not the target audience. His content really just isn't for me. And same goes with, like, Richie and... Yeah. All those other, like, big plush tubers. Yeah, that makes sense. You know, like, every medium of media has their own tropes and stuff like that. But somehow, for some reason, I think plush, tuber, plush tubing um, tropes are kind of the most annoying tropes. I don't know why, though. They just come off as really annoying. It's just like... Another. Oh, I'm so bored. Yeah. Just, makes when sense. I hear a video that starts with that, I instantly click off because I know it's not going to be that interesting. Yeah. Mm. Because well, well, they really just said I'm so bored, so you are going to be bored for the rest of the video. Yeah, but like I think Logan's okay. really struggling these days. Logan, man, that. Honestly, that channel's beyond saving. Yeah, I guess that- yeah, it makes sense, but like, still, it's kind of sad, I mean, like, I literally lost press just, like, a few, like, months ago, or just a few weeks ago, so... Yeah, it's been hard for him, so... Yeah, he really hasn't been happy. And, like, I just kind of see it that he isn't really happy, he just feels so tired. I feel like... I don't know, I kind of feel like he wants to... To quit. We just can't. Yeah, I mean, like, I... Man, like... Even though I, I'm you okay be, with the modern of... style of plush videos, although I could have used better directing and better tropes, as you mentioned, and, like, I feel like I'll... Like, Log Logan did help pioneer that. I don't know. I mean, like, I feel like if he just stuck the course with Junior and, like, whatnot, things would have been better, and, but, Honestly, like, I don't know, yes, I mean, like, people could have gotten bored of, bored of Junior and, and left his channel then, and he could have died that much earlier, but, I don't know. I wonder if there was an alternate timeline where he could have survived. Yeah. The way I, mean, I see like, it- I could, bl I could definitely blame Nintendo, because really- they're really, they're overprotected of their properties, but, um... But also, it was kind of deserved, like... Yeah. Just... Just given the content he made. Honestly, yeah, the way I see it, SML... SML died with the first channel. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that makes sense, Basically. but like... But like, yeah, it's kind of sad that like, like nowadays, only five percent of his videos he makes are gonna be good. 
Yeah, because like it would take it would take like five mediocre videos and like four four okay videos to make one very to make one good video. Um, I have another question for you guys. Sure. Where do you? Right. Where'd you where'd you see the plush tubing genre in five years? Where do I see it? Um, dead. Yeah, it's going? just dead. <laughs> I mean, like all I know is that it's gonna be different, and that the kids nowadays are gonna grow up. But like, I'm not entirely sure. I mean, like maybe we'll become more artsy, but like unfortunately, uh, I don't think many big big names are going to survive. Like Q Mars is gonna be long gone by then. Um. Maybe Goomzilla has has will stick the course, but like I'm not sure. I mean, like they have the Goomzilla, the, the Goomzilla crew may have their own real life stuff. Um, but like really, I feel like it's just gonna be crazy. Like maybe reaching like seventy, seven hundred thousand subs because I guess that's what people are looking for. Perhaps He's probably will be long better. over by then. Um, but really, I can only see like I really can only see like. I can really only see Crazy becoming the new SML, Richie becoming the new Cute Marlboro, subscriber-wise, definitely not, um, quality-wise, but, um, yeah. Just, like, they fill yeah. the roles, and, um, I guess, and, and maybe Soup Luigi fan might stick the course, I mean, like, he has been doing this for a while, he may just stay secluded, as he may be fine with what is, I don't really watch a lot of his content, um, but, um, I feel like like smaller people like um geek films might be gone, but like who knows? He may stay because well, I think he's very passionate about what he does. Um, hmm. what else? Um, and also I feel like Epic Star Bros may become like the new awesome Mario getting Scotty subscriber wise or the new Bowser Power subscriber wise. But yeah, I mean like, yeah, yeah. So basically, in summation, um. Richie and Crazy become the new top dogs, and that's it. Yeah. That's actually... I feel like uh, in about, like, five years... I feel like in about five years, I don't think Geek is probably gonna make plush videos anymore. I feel like he would want to, like, do something else. Like, move on like, like, his videos aren't really like plush videos. Are you talking about Geek films? Yeah. So the, the, yeah, I can definitely see that because yeah. um, he's even considered switching away from Mario plushes for a bit. And yeah, but like he just doesn't have the actors to pull off like real life stuff and like, and like people will probably aren't. And also his actors may not be as passionate as he is. So yeah, yeah he hasn't even watched a plush video that isn't his own in like two years. Good. Good. We don't need we don't need those plush videos yeah. completely just destroying just destroying him. Also, I wish I go like... No, go ahead. I kinda wish that I could see a bright I wish I could see a bright future for the plush community, but I can't really I don't know, I just I can't. You know, it's actually apparently the, the Q Marbos didn't actually were the first plus tubers i guess they were the first people to like keep it uh to like keep it going but actually i think it's i think it was a plus channel called frogman that um that um made the first plus video but like, i guess cmb kept it going so um hold on all right chaotic what are you gonna say um i forgot what i was originally gonna say but i have something else to say I just don't really care that much for the plush community anymore. Like I just, like I just want to make my own videos with like, without, like I just don't really care about the plush community. Yeah, honestly, me I neither. Really I'll, talk with, I'll talk with people in the community. Like hell, I'm a mod. In the, I'm a mod in a plush Discord server, but like, it's just kind of. How's that going? I don't know. It's. I, I feel mixed on it. Like, people people think I'm a good mod. Hmm. But sometimes I get this, like, I just sometimes get imposter syndrome when I'm, I think, like, you know, maybe I, maybe I actually suck. And also, it, it just, it feels like, it feels like I'm babysitting. Hmm. Fair enough. 
<laughs> basically, yeah. Also, it's like, in the plush community, it's like, the same... It's just people kissing the asses of like, the same five plush tubers. And, no and one really... everyone, everyone yeah, in the plush community is the same five plush tubers. Yeah, basically. Like, like barely any of them have any spice, like any personality. Like they're all the same. Yeah, but once anyone tries to be unique and you know just kind of go off of the path that was already taken, they're just ignored. Yeah. Because if I feel like the only thing people care about are just how the video looks. Yeah. As long as exactly. the video looks good. That, it that's why. That's why Crazy Mario Bros got so popular. Honestly, yeah. I can't sit through it, one of those videos anymore. Like the newest one is around thirty minutes. Like, let me let me look it up. It's the video. Whose video? No, Robot Mario. Thirty-two minutes and eleven seconds. Oh, like, right. What are they gonna be doing for thirty-two minutes? Well, guys, I have to go to the bathroom, so I'll see you later. Yeah, see you, YG. <laughs> well, Chaotic is just me and you now. Damn. And Super Mario Powers. Is he coming back? Um, he said he had to go to the bathroom, so... Probably. Um... You know, maybe I'll ask you a question about your own channel. Um... What's your, what's your favorite video that you've made? I don't really know. I, I've, I've learned so much um, making episode one of the new series. And it, I just kind of, um, um, Mario's pissing documentary is pretty good. Honestly, that thing is, that thing's your magnum opus. I don't know if we can get much better than that. In terms of my favorite videos, it's... My best is probably getting out of lines at Disneyland versus getting out of lines in real life. Getting out of lines at Disneyland versus getting out of lines in real life. Play bruh, bruh sound ethic. Wait, that didn't make sense. He'll just put up a pick of Shrek instead. I think that'll deserve a good giggle. Yeah, that, that's amazing. That should be... They should put that in movie theaters. Yeah, honestly, I, I'm gonna rent out a theater. And then just play that video. Um, well, Chaotic, who's your favorite plush tuber other than me? Because get, there's nothing better than getting out of lines, honestly. Um, for me, it's probably number one's got to be Super Mario Nicholas. Super Mario Nicholas is the best freaking plush tuber ever. I know. Like, he knows how to make those videos. Like, you can even see, like, you probably put this up when editing it, but the, the channel banner is just... It's so quality. It's... You can even see from the thumbnails. They're just incredible. God, this, this, I swear, this guy is really different. Super Mario Nicholas. He's just such yeah. an amazing plus channel. He could win in a fight against George Lucas. Yeah. Like, his best video is definitely the the International Women's Day 2021. I mean, it, it's really hard to say that because all of the, like, all the videos on my channel are incredible. Like, I never thought... He made an International Women's Day. Like, no one else has done that. It's so unique. No, he gotta be joking. No, he did not make that. No, it, it, it actually he did, exists. He didn't make that. No, let me, let me send it. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, but like, what the fuck every... is it? It's incredible, I'm, I'm gonna tell you that. 
graphic design is this dude's fashion. I swear. This is the best, best thumbnail I've ever seen. I just, I watched, I watched his content and I realized there's this, this is what the plush community needs. It's, there hasn't been a plush channel this exactly. good ever since, you know, Minjack. And also, is another great video is the this, this is the, the best Friday night <laughs> the Friday night this Funkin is the best plush tuber since since Super Mario Mario Bros. Yeah, Super Mario Mario. Bros. My God, that channel is incredible. Hey, it's really hard to Jesus put this Christ. one above that. But really, I I think we found the peak of plush tubing. Well, that's what we should call this episode: the peak of plush tubing. We found it. And just show Nick was on the we, we thumbnail. We really found it. Yeah. <laughs> I just put like big PNGs of her characters. We should have Super Mario Nicholas on the show. Yes. We need to we need to ask him how he does it. I'm a huge fan of his content. But it would just it'd be an honor having him on the show. It'd be like It'd be like sitting, like eating dinner with the President of the United States. He is the President of the United States. I'm just, I'm glad there's a plush tuber like this who can really just rise above the competition. It's just, there is it's, no competition after Super Mario Nicholas. Yeah, Super Mario alive, Nicholas, man, there's Super no Mario competition. Nicholas arrived, there was no competition. No competition at all. I and mean, even the school series, honestly, that makes. After watching the school oh, series, star on the school series, it makes me just want to stop making the Crunch Odyssey because it's like nothing compared to that. Like the story, the lore of this series. Just all of it is just carefully crafted. And just well made. Like I was, I was a fool to think that Minjack, Pikmin Jake was the was the best that the plush shooting genre had. Super Mario Nicholas made Minjack quit. Yeah, he was that good. Yeah, exactly. I just... Every video on that channel is gold. Super Mario Nicholas was so good that he that he made YG64 go to the bathroom. Yeah. Yeah, I wish YG64 was here so he could so we could get his thoughts. That thumbnail. Oh, uh, the freaking channel banner. That cracks me up every time. Yes! I'm back. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> no, so... so, like, seriously, International Women's Day? We are talking about our favorite plush tubers, and I brought up... That is the best you. video since made. He's my, he's my number one. Because he makes, like, hell, even look at this amazing channel banner. And don't tell me it's the best one he's, like, tell me it's just no. the best one. Ah, oh, no. No, he it's did incredible, it. isn't it? Nah, th that's too good to be real. Stop lying, Cole Quincy. No, yeah, I, I'm telling Cole the Quincy. truth. Like, no cap. I'm telling the truth. Man. Like, no, no, no. It's too good. You it can't, you can't, you couldn't, he... He couldn't have. No freaking cap. Man. No. No, you actually have to like really watch the videos and you'll understand what we're saying. Hmm. Okay. Special well, you know what? Day 2021 holiday special. 
Every single one of them is incredible. You know what? Just give me one of the videos in the chat. I'll I'll go. I'll I'll watch it and I'll and I'll join please, the please call. Give, give hey, you watch, all of the watch International Women's Day. Watch International Women's Day because that's basically his magnum opus. Okay, hold on. Give me a second. Let me just. I'll I'll be back to the call in no time. Just. All right. Hopefully you'll come back more enlightened than you were when you. Yep. Joy. I definitely will be. I'm glad that he's finally gonna be watching best plush channel ever. Like honestly, what the hell? 206 subscribers. That's way too low. Everyone, everyone watching this, go subscribe to Super Mario Nicholas. He deserves to yeah. be the, the most famous yeah. plush tuber in existence. Make him number one. Make him more popular than SML. Not only is this the, is this the peak of plush tubing, it's the peak of society. It's the peak of. It's the peak of media in it's, general. It's the peak of mankind. Yeah. This dude's making Steven Spielberg look like shit. I know. Honestly, they should just, like, hire this dude for Hollywood. Oh, you're back already, YG? Yeah. I, it, it was so good. Five minutes into the video, I couldn't no, take I... such greatness anymore. The I way he you. secretly moves his hand to move every character, it was gorgeous. I couldn't have done anything better. In fact, I'm almost gonna, I'm almost considering quitting based on just how good, good the video is. It's so cinematic. The camera, That's what I've done. That's the the chaotic camera quality stuff. is greatness. I find joy in its undefined -ness. It is like, way too good to even exist. Super Mario Nicholas, you are my hero. I, he's all of our heroes. He makes us cower in fear because he's just... We can't make anything that good. And we'll never be able to make anything that good. Darn. I gotta go back and watch more. Yeah. You should absolutely do it. I honestly... After watching Super Mario Nicholas, I'm I'm a changed man. Yeah, it really I'll be my back life back to change more. You know, here's my personal story. I was I was a bad boy. I was doing all that crack and heroin. I was, you know, I was drinking tons of alcohol. And then I watched Super Mario Nicholas, and I thought, damn, I better I better turn my life around. And it's it's really changed me. I'll say that. What the fuck is this conversation? It's perfect. You know, this is this is gonna be the best episode. This is the best episode of any episode ever episoded. Exactly. Wait, what? I mean, school series episode two. Mario and Luigi and Yoshi go viral. S SMN movie, Bowser Jr. Goes to School Series, Episode 1. S SMN movie, Bowser Jr.'s Late Night Snack. Friday Night Funkin' 200 subscriber special. Absolutely oh, watch that. That was really good. Duck Duck School. Part 2. <laughs> what the fuck? Part day. Duck Duck School Part 1. Bowser Jr.'s Spring Break Part Duck, 2. Duck Bowser Jr.'s Spring Break Part 1. The late April Fool's Day special, part two, and, and of course the late April Fool's the late April special. Fool's Day special, part one. Super Mario Nicholas is beyond our comprehension. Exactly, he has ascended into the fifth dimension. I think we're just we're too simple-minded to understand this. I mean, I was before I actually watched it and really educated myself. I don't know why this dude isn't as popular as SML. Honestly, it's a shame. When Super Mario Nicholas, like, dies and he goes up to heaven, God is just gonna just give him- he's just gonna let him become God. You know, you ever seen Bruce Almighty? It's basically gonna be that. Super, Super Mario Nicholas is already God. Yeah. You know, you know all those Christians? <laughs> They're already worshipping Nicholas. Yeah, they're, they're they're worshiping the wrong god. They gotta worship this one right in front of us. Like you can even see in the thumbnails, there's so much care and attention to detail. 
And it all just looks so visually appealing. I don't even like, need to see the videos. The, just the thumbnails have changed my life for the better. I feel like I have ascended into the fourth dimension. Like, look at look at this one right here. It's one of the best I've ever seen. The Ice Cream Chuck Chase Part 1. That reminds me of a super old video I made. So, it was before I made plush videos. I made kind of like real life like just stupid videos and one of them a friend and i like just followed the ice cream truck around my neighborhood and uh, eventually that that got deleted honestly i can't stress Make this enough guy copyright, please subscribe to this guy um get him to be super popular yes please because you're doing a disservice to the entire Make plush push. community by not subscribing to this guy Dude honestly deserves his like own Netflix show. I want to see it. I mean, Coco Melon is on Netflix, so why isn't Super Mario Nicholas on Netflix? Because Super Mario Nicholas makes Netflix look like shit. You don't even need to like ne Netflix pay doesn't want subscription services. We Netflix already have Netflix some doesn't good. Doesn't even want to put Mario Nicholas on there because it makes him look like shit. Yeah. Just cancel your Netflix subscription, cancel your friggin' Hulu or Disney Plus subscription, cancel your, for like, the five people out there who have it, cancel your Paramount Plus subscription, because this is all you need. Like, even if he stops uploading, you can just rewatch the videos. Honestly, this is number one plus tuber. If I ever make a like top five plush tuber list, Nicholas is absolutely gonna be number one. No, he's gonna be number zero because he deserves it. Him being number one just it it feels like he could be better than number one, you know? It's our conversation about the best media franchise in general. Super Mario Nicholas. Also, I, I just, I want to meet this guy in real life and just, just tell him how much, how much he's changed me as a person. It's really just, he's really a pioneer in the genre. He's, he's changed it. He's a pioneer. He's changed me as we know it. He's just a pioneer. He's one of the greatest minds of he's our time. He's a pioneer time. of civilization. He's a... Einstein. He's a pioneer of civilization. Yeah. He's the next step for mankind. <laughs> Super Mario Nicholas was one of the founding fathers of the entire universe. Also, Super Mario Nicholas, if you're watching this, thank you. Thank you for... Thank you for making stuff this great. We don't deserve for Nicholas to watch our we don't videos. Deserve. We have not deserved. You're really, a, you're really ahead of your time. He's the he's the hero we the, need, but not the one we deserve. Yeah, this dude deserves an award. I don't know when this episode's gonna end. I mean, it could go on for for eternity. So there's just so much to say about next this next brilliant channel next episode. We're, we're gonna interview Nicholas for real. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Well, would you say that kind of wraps up the episode? Pretty much. Well, guys who are still watching at this point... I could, I could talk like about video. Nicholas all day. Yeah, please like the video, subscribe to... No, so go subscribe to Super Mario Nicholas. And yes. if you don't... We'll send, Nicholas. we'll send a freaking like we'll send aliens to your house yeah we'll we'll, send, we'll, we'll call you know, aliens um, and then send them over to your house to abduct you so yeah go freaking do that right now subscribe to Super Mario Nicholas like all of his videos go make him the most popular plush tuber on the internet because he deserves it and yeah, I'd say that wraps up the frickin' 
episode that we haven't had in a year. We'll see you in a year when we make the next episode, probably. Never. We'll see you yeah. never. If Nicholas doesn't make it to five trillion, we're not making another episode. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely, we're not. <laughs>